again, Eddie Collins here. In that opening sequence, I just played through the entire circle of fifths using only two or three fingers to play every single chord. So in spite of what you might have heard, you can play every major, minor, or seventh chord with only two or three fingers. We'll begin with open chords and then we'll show you how to do it with chop chords as well. Wait, did he just say I won't have to use my pinky? So let's begin with what are probably the first three chords you ever learned. G, C, and D. Just a reminder that chords can be played with just two fingers. Those are the three main chords you need in the key of G. One, four, and five. One, four, five, one. You know you have the one, four, five sound if you can create the song Twist and Shout by the Beatles. We'll shake it up, baby, now. Twist and shout. So now we want to be able to twist and shout in many other keys. We'll first go to the key of C. Our C chord is the same as it was in the key of G, still two fingers. Now we need an F chord, and when you look that up in books, it usually is with three fingers across five frets, from frets one through five. Here's another way to play an F chord that's a bit easier. Just take your C chord and move it over to strings four and three. Be careful to only strum three strings as the first string clashes somewhat with the chord. So at that point, you can use one fingering to get one, four, five. Next, let's go to the key of F, for which we will need an F chord, the same one we just used. The new chord will be B flat for our four chord, and I'm using fingers one and two on frets one and three, strings two and four. And then we'll keep our C chord from before as our five chord. And just a quick note about these three string chords, I always find them on strings four, three, two, giving me a deeper sound. They won't be on strings three, two, and one. We can take the B-flat fingering and move each finger up one fret to frets two and four, and we'll have a B minor chord, which could be used in songs like The Weight by the band. Pulled in Nazareth, I was feeling bad at best then. B minor. We return to our tour around the circle of fifths, moving to the key of B-flat, which requires a B-flat chord an E flat chord and an F chord and the E flat chord is the new chord it uses just one finger to play strings two and three when you're doing this I move my finger a little bit to the side so that I can get a little more of the fleshy part rather than staying straight on move a little bit to the side and as long as you're getting the sound of one of those notes if the other one's a little bit dead, as long as it's not buzzing, you're still going to get a full sounding chord. So B flat. Once you have the E flat fingering, you can move it up one fret and strum all four strings for an E minor chord. Country road. Take me home to the place. Most books show the A minor chord as barring strings four and three with the second finger on string two. Another nice fingering for this is the first finger on string three, fret two, but the third finger on the fifth fret of string four. Nice full sounding chord. You can get the sound of just about any oldie song from the 1950s through the early 1960s by using just four chords, all requiring just two fingers. Boom, 
I once attended a bluegrass mandolin workshop where the opening statement was something to the effect of, if you can't play chop chords, you might as well not play mandolin. He then proceeded to show these chop chords. Notice how the G and D require the use of four fingers and cover the stretch of six frets. I've had really good mandolin students who have not been able to play those chords even after playing a couple of years, especially those with smaller hands. So let's give you some new options. So here's the fingering I will use for my G chord. It covers only three strings. And the whole idea of a chop chord is that you have all the strings covered so that after you strike the chord, you can release it, thus getting the chop. For the C chord, we will take our simple C chord and add our third finger to the fifth fret on the fourth string. Move that up two frets and we have our D chord. So in the key of G, we have one, four, five with chop chord. Since the shapes are all movable, we can easily play in other keys. We move it up three frets and we will be in the key of B flat. We'll now go to the key of D using the fingering we just figured out for D. The four chord will be G, same fingering as before. For the five chord, we move up to A, two frets higher. This is always true using these movable shapes. Your five chord would be just two frets higher than your four chord. Using the two sets of chords we just went over, we can now play chop chords in any key. We did just play in the key of D. We now move up just one fret and we'll be in the key of E flat. We can come up with movable seventh chords by finding the root of one of our chop chords and moving it down two frets. So that will work as a G7. Take your C chord. We'll take the low root, move it down two frets. This will allow me to play blues rhythm. Another thing you can do once you have these movable chords is you can slide into a chord. My search for simple minor chords led me to modal chords. A modal chord is one where you only have a root and fifth. Take your simple E minor chord we learned before, cover the G note with a B note, and you have an E modal, which can serve as either E minor or E depending on the situation. Dream, 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 dream. An F sharp minor is a common chord in the key of A. So you can take your E modal, move it up two frets, use it for an F sharp minor. Here's your A chord. Dream, 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 dream. Bar both the fourth and third string at the fourth fret and your first finger playing fret two on string two and you'll have a B modal chord. Move it up two frets, you have C sharp. Using those as minor chords, we can play Bob Dylan's Lay, Lady, Lay. So there you have it, every chord you could possibly ever want to play. Be sure to subscribe and we'll hope to see you again real soon.